Smartsheet Project Management Demo. Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to be giving you a demo of Smartsheet. Basically give you an inside look on what it is and how it works before you decide to buy it. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just jump into the video. So the first thing that I want you guys to do is come over to Smartsheet.com. And once we're over here, all you have to do is just simply sign up. So to sign up, it's pretty simple. It's pretty easy. Just simply click on the sign up button. But as you can see, mine is showing login. That's because I've already made an account and it's super easy. You don't have to do anything. We'll just click on the get started button and you can just simply sign in by entering in your email address your password and just simply click on the sign up button and that is it or you can just simply go ahead and click on sign up with google which is a lot more easier and a lot quicker i recommend doing that so once you've done that you can now move on with the video so i'm going to go ahead and log in so that we're on the same page over here so when you've signed up this is how it looks like so when you've signed up this is how your dashboard is going to look like now, as you can see there's nothing over here you you have zero requests you sent zero requests you have zero suggestions that's because this is a brand new account so you won't have anything so what we want to do is want to change that and we want to create new sheets and new projects so you can do that by clicking on this button but before that let me just go over these settings over here on the left side so you can understand what they are so this is the home button so this is basically our dashboard our home so as you can see there's nothing over here at this moment so moving on we have notifications now over here you will get all the notifications that you will be receiving over here basically you can you will have requests you will have notifications basically anything that happens to a project you will be notified over here if someone's made changes you will be notified over here and then you have browse basically over here you can see we have sheets we have workspaces we have resource we have deleted items so in sheets we can see that we over here we will have all the sheets that we have prepared and then we have workspaces all the workspaces that are going to be over here we have teams we we have resource reviews basically all the all the views and resources that we get are going to be over here basically this is the browse section of a complete of our entire projects and all the projects that we've done and then we have work apps give it a little time to load up now basically what that means is that over here you're going to have apps basically you will have apps that are going to help you with your work and make everything much much more easier so as you can see there there are no apps right now so that's because we haven't installed any so that is why it says zero and then we have recent so in recent you will have all the recent activity you have done and opened and stuff like that so in recent you will have all the recently opened sheets that you want and all the other projects that you have opened and created recently will are going to be shown up over here and will be sorted by date then you have favorites basically you can add your own favorite projects over here and then this is the most important part of this website the solution center so if we click on the solution center over here here we will be able to create different projects as well so we can create grid projects we can create projects cards task lists forms reports dashboard slash portal and stuff like that now these are some of the already pre-made but what if you wanted to have like a few templates a little bit of options well you can go over to the browse section over here as you can see we will have all the other solutions now i'm sure you're wondering what if you already have a project and you want to import it well that's pretty simple all you have to do is click on the import button and then you can import your projects from all these different websites such as Microsoft Excel, Microsoft Projects, Google Sheets, and Trello. So if you have any projects that are available on these websites, you can go ahead and import them very, very easily. Now, if you click on browse all solution, you can see we have all the templates that we will possibly need. And we have Gantz, we have trackers and stuff like that. And then we have some categories in which those templates are most suitable for them, such as client and customers. If we click over here, only templates that are related to clients and customers will show up. Same with IT and marketing and project development and stuff like that. And then if we see down below, these are the add-ons. These are basically the apps that we can add onto your project management tools that can help you increase your productivity even better. So if you want, you can go ahead and add them and it's pretty simple. So let's just go ahead and add a template so for product development let's just go with this one over here and then just simply click on use give it a little bit of time to load up and once it's loaded up all you have to do is just simply enter in your name your last name the title the department company work name and phone number and then you can enter in a job category that you want basically company management finance it legals and stuff like that
that but let's just we'll do it later so when you have a sheet this is how it would basically look like let's just click on custom feedbacks and over here as you can see this is how it looks like so these are going to be you can change the names of these headers if you want like you can click on this button over here on these three buttons and then you can just simply rename the column and that'll be it and you can add a and then to add something on these columns just double click it and type whatever you want and then you can even adjust the date as well and then you can see we can change stuff on it we can change the colors we can have the grid view we can have filters we can change the fonts we can change the fonts the size of the text we can add boldness italic underline and then you can even change the font color as well and then over here on the right side you will see we have a couple of different options so we have conversations now in this one you can tag some different people in different rows and then chat with them about the projects and different elements and their roles then you have attachments basically you can add attachments to that project like you can want to share some scripts or some calendars or videos and stuff like that basically if you want to request an update from your clients and or the people that you are working for just simply create a new request and then you can set it out and that is basically it so this is how it will basically look like as you can see so now you have a pretty good understanding about how smart sheet works so let me just go over the pricing of smart sheet so that you can understand how how much does it cost so if you click on upgrade over here as you can see we have three main plans over here we have the pro plan we have the business and then we have the enterprise so for the pro plan it is billed at seven dollars billed annually and you get minimum three licenses and up to 25 licenses if, if you want to upgrade it you get unlimited viewers you get unlimited sheets reports and dashboards one sheet per report though and 10 widgets per dashboard nothing more than that you get capture data forms you get grid gantt and card calendar views you get pre-built automation rules which is 250 automations per month and you have support for microsoft 365 google workspace and apple id login and then for the business side it is 25 dollars per month which is billed annually and you get a minimum of three licenses and on top of all the other perks from the previous plan you get unlimited collaborators who can view and edit you get unlimited sheets per report and widgets per dashboard forms with conditional logics document builders unlimited automations and custom brandings and then if we look down below these are going to be the complete comparison of the plans down below now these are the two major ones that, that i think so that in my opinion are the two major ones so basically the maximum attachment size is 30 mb in the pro plan and the file attachment storage is 20 gigabytes in the pro plan but for the business plan it is 250 mbs for the attachment size and then the attachment storage is one terabyte now this alone is enough to convince you to buy the business plan because in project management if you have ever done it before you know that storage is a very big factor and that it is very very important but my job isn't to, to tell you which plan to go for that is completely your decision my job is to tell you about the softwares and its features so that you have a better understanding of it and you can make a perfect decision for yourself so having said that that is it for this video if you guys enjoyed it please sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications and if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye Bye.